guys, welcome back to Antique Agenda. My name is Heather Elizabeth and I do have a fun day planned. Uh, we are, me and Mr. Agenda are going to go to the Strawberry Festival, which is going to be an indoor antique market. Um, I'm not sure how much strawberry uh, items will be sold there, but unfortunately we, it is May 20th. It's a Saturday, or no, it's the 21st. And we had one of those, gosh, I'm getting <laughs> dripped on, but one of those freak Colorado weather instances where we got a bunch of wet snow and our trees have already leafed out and we're gonna walk around and inspect some of the trees in my yard. Now let's go look at my poor trees. And then we're gonna go to the Strawberry Festival Antique Market. All right. Okay, this is one of our linden trees and you can see this big branch broken. It's a sad thing, but it looks like the tree is gonna be okay. So, oh, and there's another little broken branch. Well, if I wasn't so sad about these trees, it sure is pretty out here today. So this is our younger oak tree. And it's very sad to see that she has split straight down the middle up at the top there. That's actually the leader. This was the top of the tree right here. So. That is really, really sad. All right, I'm gonna go, oh, well, that should recover. All right, guys, we are in the car and ready to go off to the Strawberry Festival. We'll be heading back over to Longmont, which is where we had uh, visited the Vintage Toy Show several episodes ago. So, I'm gonna take the hubby antiquing. Hopefully he will have some fun. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. This is all beaded. Mm. This is purchased in England and they're dating it to the 1850s. Wow. $325. I love it though. Love it, but don't love it that much. I love it all right. 
she is beautiful. She is beautiful. They I was, both are. I was just telling my husband, I said, I love everything in this booth. I might be here 20 minutes.
see this has got Nelson McCoy, which means this was done in the 30s. Okay. Okay. And then the McCoy ones that are Mark McCoy, if it has the USA mark on it, like this one here. So this is done before Pearl Harbor. Okay. okay. As soon as Pearl Harbor hit, boom, they went and everybody, all the pottery companies, if they already weren't, put the USA on there.
I love those. Thank you very much. Hotel and restaurant. It's just pull it up a little higher because I'm trying to get your voice. I really like the uh, the architecture. I think it's wonderful. You don't see this anymore. It takes you back to when we were kids. It does take you back <laughs> to when we were kids. Yes, it does. several days since I visited the Strawberry Festival with Scott. It is Monday today. 
So I did get a few items there. Unfortunately, Scott did not find uh, a ton to look at. So poor hubby pretty much sat at the picnic table. Sorry about my phone. He sat at the picnic tables for about <laughs> at least two hours. So um, he was a good sport about it though. Um, I did, as at, right when I walked in, I found a booth that had a bunch of items that I loved. Uh, probably half the video ended up being that one booth. So I'm gonna share with you what I brought back. Uh, the first was from that front booth. It was the little bust of the gypsy. It says La Gitana. Oh, there we go. La Gitana. Can you see that? And I just thought she was so saucy and just feeling herself. It's, you know, the kind of mood that, you know, I look at and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that every day. So I brought her home and I will find a nice spot for her. And then the other item I got at that fancy booth was a Victorian calling card plate. Uh, very decorative. It has a adorable little nymph hanging out in the flowers and the leaves, swinging on the leaf like a hammock. I just thought it was so charming, very, very uh, romantic Victorian. And I cannot read. There is some uh, lettering and some numbers on the back, but I even zoomed in with my phone and it is illegible to me. But I was taken by it and I just decided to bring it home. So I think I'm going to put this up uh, on the wall somewhere. And then I also did get a little flapper doll made in Japan. Uh, to add to my dolls. And then the other item I got was, this was not at that front booth, this was at another booth toward the end of uh, our round there. I got this, oh no, I cannot see very well. Let's see, I'm gonna tilt the camera a little. Tilt. Okay, so you can see it's just, <laughs> Uh, a funny, uh, I'm assuming it's a postcard in here, but I haven't taken out of the frame to see if there's anything on the back. But I have another postcard where there are children running from some sort of flying insect. And I just, I think they're funny. <laughs> some of these postcards are quite amusing. And uh, when I find one I like, I definitely like to pick it up. And also the frame. This is a really great old frame and uh, I just, I loved it all together. So this will have to find a corner of the house to live because I think I want to enjoy this year around. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it out in spring and then put it away in uh, spring and summer and then put it away for the fall and winter months. Sometimes I do that as well. All right, so that's what I brought home. All in all, I would say it was a fun day at the Strawberry Festival. And now I think we should go put some of these items away in the house and you can see what I do with all my stuff. <laughs> so maybe let's go do that right now. <laughs> I'm thinking that this is a good spot for the postcard just because of the red tones in the frame. I think it goes well with the little cinnabar box and my little jade peach tree here so this is what we're doing with the postcard this is in my bookshelf here so there's one item put away okay guys here is my doll shelf well mostly doll shelf so um most, I have my flapper dolls um, over here, but um, I think I'm just going to put this little gal in this baby cup for now. I think that looks good. 
What do you guys think? There you can see the snails that I got at that estate sale. You can see some of my baby cups that I got recently. I think she fits right in. Okay, this is what I think I am doing with the Victorian plate. This is right in my front entryway. I think that it looks cute here and I can always move it around. I move things around all the time, but this is going to be its home for now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing where I am putting some of the items that I bring home from all of these wonderful antiquing adventures. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I am trying to grow my little antiquing club and I would love to have you be part of the family. So thank you so much guys. Until the next time, take care of yourselves. And bye for now.